trade tower space. Same buildings seen when sauntered searching for lunch. More direct now, less cratered than expanse. Nothing in between but empty space where towers stood stories high. A silent, gentle whisper rustles of wind blow dust that might just hold part of a friend or the subway I used to take. Spirits hang amidst this space, absence, no longer gaping hole, but fill, filling in to build again, to live again, undaunted or discouraged. One soul, the children must know, give them strength, Build their base and thirst for knowledge and wisdom and independent thought. And this is a human world, a modality real to the feel and fear of the moment. The spirit swims in a sea of serpents draped in mortal garb. Let them pass without detriment, gaining patience born of faith, making moments clear in taste. Forge a substantive strength to go to length. May they see the dove let loose without excuse. All children, one village, one soul. Let these doors open, open and remain so much more than woe. Souls open, always open, our soul, my soul, and theirs. Cradle each night the thought and care, no paucity to share, the audacity to bear, the elasticity to dare and glow with exquisite embers burning slow, lasting low for life and longer. All children, one village, one soul. And even when sartorial skills cannot mend a rip or slice to this space and sense separating spheres to solitude, this range of being, interplanetary, interuniversal, sends forth the broad celestial orchestral performance starring the lights sparkling above. We must see to this, all children, one village, one soul, because it is of the ether and eternal. And let them look to this mark engraved upon the space surrounding, both still the same, each for us the same love passing through space of being and dreaming. With doors wide open, where magic warms, the unexpunged and uncontrollable love lives life, forever enhanced and essential moment forth from being, their being in ours, their being in mine. The children must know. They must know they are loved. All children, one village, one soul. The children will see the dove. The children will feel the love. All children, one village, one soul. The best of me. The pleasure of pooping, a misconstrued, misinterpreted act of pure peace, discussed through doors ajar. Imagine leaves for wiping versus modern convenience, tissues, its effect, time spent lingering in perception pooping, pondering those thinking thoughts. Then there's power pooping, pleasing in an entirely different kind of way, plainly for the necessity, still pleasant pooping, excusing brevity and levity. Now party pooping, nothing unseemly, mind you, but shared, usually by phone or for propped open door with pop it in for peaks while pooping proceeds. This life's best of me shall be the many ways I have learned to poop, oh so pleasantly, plainly, and purely, without inhibition or prohibition. <laughs> Set them free. In the passage of time, the clicks clocked and locked on a mark where the stark separation sees sadness. The space and system between, further than miles or moments, substance of being survives stretching, despite tensile strength tested. The singular connectivity extends, seeping softly through life lived. Blood bond more potent than circumstance. My aria cries woefully out loud with force, for I am not whole without
without the sounds of my children nearby. I'm going to close with one piece not inside my book. And then I, I like to close with a prayer. So I'm going to insert this. What lives here? I am wide open and flowing with emotions, alive as never before, though there is this moment when soul and somber thought meet, a space well known, a feel best shown within a touch which could not be wished upon the cold sobriety of life, my own deep sadness, my own darkness, far reaching and beseeching, the gladness stalking nearby, and upon its visitation today, craggish corners, once sharp, found round and formed with the shape of your smile. The cold no longer lives here. The warm and soft companionship of your kind thoughts conceive this. The deeply buried, consecrated, and alone no longer lives here. The cold no longer lives here. It is of the space of hope where my fullest heart resides. Your light and joy bring forth a meadow of the most secret of wishes. Youthful belief reaffirmed, your gentle hand held out. The cold no longer lives here. The cold no longer lives here. Your hand, ever so carefully, lives here. And I'd like to close with a prayer. It's called Let It Go. I let it go and felt the throes of release. Prepared the way with golden rule for living. Bittersweet, this life of giving. For the seeing, I found the all and my being. Recognized the voice to chant for breath beyond my death. I forgive. No quid pro quo required. And the love, it flows freely. So the Safrasune sings it sonorously. Thank you very much.